Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to take you briefly on how it is simple and extraordinary easy to create a telecommunication tower in AutoCAD environment using a techno metal uh, using techno metal as an add-on into AutoCAD environment. This tool this this add-on in combination with AutoCAD tools will help us come up with a very nice structure of a telecommunication tower. So I'm Maurice Dimba and let's get started right here. Let me first of all minimize this. And in here we are in AutoCAD environment with two with these two tabs added on, on added on top of AutoCAD. So we are, we are we are using AutoCAD platform and we are using these tools uh, for Technometal uh, tools. Now we have in, in Technometal we have two 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 uh, two menus here uh, i mean three we have technometal 2d we have technometal 4d where this where we do all the 3d uh, modeling and design so technometal is a this is structural analysis this is where we analyze all the components of a structure and uh, 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 and uh, come to a conclusion of how many loads or which particular loads applicable in in in, uh, in a particular uh, structure building and which profiles or sections uh, are appropriate are, and uh, are unsuitable to be used on, on such particular structure. Now, we are going straight or we are still using uh, a st a st uh, 2D or Technometal 2D. So, I'll go back to Technometal 2D. So, the moment I click on Technometal 2D here, you'll be able to, you, you, will, you will be able to see these tools here. Remember, the moment you click on each tab here, all the tools that are applicable on this particular menu under uh, under this will be presented to you and uh, if you go to technometal structure analysis these will be uh, the available tools in that particular area so we are going section by uh, uh, part by part or section by section so we are still under technometal 2d so under technometal 2d these are the tools we have and today we are going straight to creation of tech, uh, uh, telecommunication tower uh, here now I'll go ahead and click macro. At the moment I click macro, I'll be I'll, I'll be presented. These tools will be will be uh, available to us. Trust project drawings, staircase and handrails, frameworks, tower lattice. Now we are under tower lattice. These are tools we are going to use right now. Now I'll click on that plus button, and these tools will be accessible to us. Now let me first of all start laying out the. Uh, the parameters and this is where you will place in or feed in your parameters so this will be this i think is self-explanatory and uh, we just feed in your measurements here at the far end here at, at h3 uh, i fed three meters high and uh, on section two i fed three meters at six 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 meters six components of three uh, at three meters now on H1, I uh, I fed in three meters, three times. I need uh, components of steel as assembled at th uh, at a distance of three 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 meters, three times. Now at A4 here, you can see that I fed that at A3. You can see that that height is three is three is uh, is one point two. This length. This width is one point two is is one point seven five, and F four you can see, from 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 this from the, this top end to that end is one point two, and A one at the bottom end here you can see it is five meters, and B one is five meters. So once you've done that, just go ahead and click that, as uh, that on OK button. So on your window. Just click anywhere here and uh, place it right there. So this is how it looks. So what I've done wrong, uh, I've mixed it up with other components. So what I'm going to do is just to delete it and do a fresh one. So let me just uh, delete that. Let me just delete that for, for, for the time being. Then I'll just invoke that command and uh, place it somewhere here. So here we are. So this is a simple layout of our... Uh, tele telecommunication tower so if you check at the bottom we check at the bottom end here we are lacking one thing and that is the command line so I'm, go I'm going to press control 9 to bring it back so here we are the beauty of this is is because it gives us instruction and direct us where to go and where to do and where to do it 
so i'll drag it slightly uh, aside so this is the, the the guideline of our telecommunication tower so I'll, i'm going to place the bracings and all the steel members that will be required here so where do i get them i'll come to diagonals here and click on the diagonals here so this this is what we have so in here under diagonals we have all these bracing bracing styles available at the far end we have that so at the bottom end so it's a point you pick what type of bracing do you want so I'll, let me just drag it up and, I, and i'm going to pick this one for the bottom end so it has been uh, coded as 0801 type of bracing so where do we get all this because the moment you check on you you, you select on it you we have all the profiles that make up the all the bracings so all all the bracings and the, and the sections for bracings are not the same they vary so how do you feed in all these members or sections automatically so i'll come to search button here and click once I've, I've i've selected on a particular bracing of my choice i've picked on this so i'm going to this search button and this will take me to a, a database of uh telecommunication tower so if you check if you take a look here it is 0801 so i'll scroll down for 0801 here i'll pick on it then click save that component so i'll have all this in place so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just i'm just going to select the points where i want all uh, these bracings to be placed i'll click sex selection points then uh, i'm going to define it from the bottom end here and define to that uh, define that these sections and i'll terminate it right there so this will take me back to the window so what i'm going to do i'm, I'm going to check that so i'll get back to where i was and we'll be able to see that these br these bracings have been placed automatically you can see that nicely done so we'll move step by step in placement of these bracings for creation of telecommunication tower in a quick way in uh, in autocad environment using technometal as an as an add-on to make our work slightly easier now let me go back and place other diagonals so in here I'm, I'm going to still maintain the the settings using the same bracing style so i'll just go ahead and click that and come back and select and select the points so i'm going to define my points from that spot and move all the way to the to to, to, to this top end and uh, uh, select on that spot and come at the bottom end here and terminate it right there and i click and i click check and i'll try and try to go back and check whether it has been placed so if i close this you'll be able to see we have another bracing on top here perfectly placed so i'm going to apply the same up here so i'll go back and use the same by selecting the points taking into account that our command is still active and i'll snap on that spot and go all the way and snap on top here and snap on, on top of that and create that so i'll go ahead and, and check and uh, accept the results there then uh, let me try and close this and you'll be able to see that we have our bracings in place so on top here the bracing style will slightly a, bit, a little bit different so it will, will force us to choose a different type of bracings on the on the database now i'll come back here and click diagonals once again and this will will take me i'll have a, uh, a moment where i'll be able to pick on the appropriate bracing style so which one do i pick i'll just uh, go, go scroll at the bottom end here scroll scroll up and scroll down and try to look for uh, a better option which option will match my i'll just scroll up I'll scroll up and try to select a better option so let me just scroll down scroll down scroll down we use that one we, we haven't used that one that is 11 so i'll scroll up slightly we use that we used that we can use this now i'm going to pick on this it is 0701 so i'll go back to 0, 0701 here i'll come to database here and, and look for 0701 
it is here then go ahead and click save and uh, i'll pick the points i'll pick the points here and select on that spot and select on that and select you define the area of bracings so i'll just go ahead and check and uh go back and check that and try and close this you'll be able to see we have the bracings in place so we can go ahead and uh, and, and 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 pick and go to the diagonals here and click uh, and and click diagonals back here and come back here and do the same thing but uh, another way on, of doing this if they are the same if they are the same what you can do you can either just feed in i need two of them at uh, at a distance of three that i'll just go ahead and uh, and click and click that and if you go back and you go and check you'll be able to see that we have everything in place addition uh, has been added right there so let's go back and do the same thing because we don't want to make an error here so i'll just go ahead and pick the points because we are using the same style of bracing or the same type of bracing and let me just come at the bottom end here and and then put that and i'll go ahead and check and come back and see whether that will be applied here so this is how it looks and we are going to all the way up in placing the bracings i'll come back here and select on the diagonals and uh, i'll pick the points i'll do the same thing here i'll define that and that and come all the way to that spot check that and give an okay there and if you close this you'll be able to see you have your bracings going up smoothly now do the same thing remember also if these if this uh, if these sections are the same you can just feed in here how many are they three at, at this distance then just define then just click on okay and these bracings will be duplicated all the way up now let me go back and define another section i'll define that spot and come up here and define that spot that spot and terminate it right here and uh, uh, check it up and give an okay here and if you close this you'll, you'll be able to see you have the bracing already placed there now let's do the 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 final the second last i'll come to diagonals once again and i'll select the points and i'll do the same thing here select that and click on that spot go go ahead and check and accept or give an okay and close that and check whether you've done the right thing now at the at the end here our bracings will be slightly different now we'll come back to diagonals here and check and pick on a different bracing let me just come at the bottom end here and try pick a different one try pick a different one this will be okay so we'll work with 0501 so we'll search for 0501 we'll uh, move down select on that click save and uh, define the points so i need this point here i need this point here that point and at this point here so the moment i click on that i'll uh, check that or apply that then i'll come and give an okay there right there and if i go back i'll be able to see that i have my bracings already placed on top here so how do you place this these members it's very easy what we are going to do we are going to uh, place the uh, manually these diag these di uh, diagonals i'll come to manual diagonal then come here so inside here i'm going to select a different profile so this will force me to go to database here i'll click on the db here and come to l profile here scroll down and we are going to use uh, and, and we are going to use l 96 or 95 will be okay just scroll up just scroll up and we are going to pick this one here just so to apply it or take into 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 that dialog box just double click on it so it is it is here now so what we are going to do here we we'll just go ahead and click we'll, we'll just go ahead and click here so 
remember you can include this the wordings if if you want uh if you want the profile plus length plus di plus dimensions it's upon you so if you if you want mark plus dimensions it's upon you it's it's upon your cho it, it's it's upon you to pick the best uh, solution for for your uh, for your work now in this particular case let me just uh, place uh, the profile and length so i'll place that and click ok so once i've done that i'll just go ahead and select on that and i'll be able to see that we, it is uh, it is uh, an angle line an angle profile nine uh, by six and this stretches to nine point two 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 now and now this i'll snap on that spot and you'll be able to see all this so i'll go ahead and do the same thing here and do the same thing here and uh, I'll apply that on top here and apply that on top here. So you see how simple you can do this. So I'll come back to to manual here and and uh, feed another member right there. Right click and you are ready to submit your proposal on uh, uh, of uh, a telecommunication tower uh, designed to your client. So this is how quick you can do it in uh, in AutoCAD with an with the technometer add-on um, on your AutoCAD environment. So this is how it looks. And now you can go ahead and click and place your necessary dimensions or uh, if you don't want the automatic dimensions from from the techno uh, from the techno uh, from the techno metal. So I'm going to use the AutoCAD facilities. I'll click linear and I want to just uh, place my dimension right here roughly. From that end to this end, let me just place that to this end and right click and come to that end and take it right here and bring it somewhere here so get the total the total length make sure your accurate in placement of, of your dimensions because in any uh, a slight ignorance or a, a slight mistake will will push you to unprofessionalism of of your work now this is five meters and if I, if I go back and click diagonals or if i go back to this tool here you'll be able to see that the a, a, a one is five meters square so though we have other options here we have we have a triangular shape or square so we have triangular we have triangular and we have, we have rectangular so it's upon you to define whatever you want so i'll close this once I've closed that, and this is how it looks. This is how it looks, and this is how it's done. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if this is your first video to bump into. And uh, don't forget to subscribe once again, and uh, be safe.